Hi guys, I'm Mar, and today I'm gonna tell you guys a little story time about the time that I was majorly embarrassed at a luxury store in front of my mother-in-law. Actually, not only my mother-in-law, but my in-laws, like my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. It was just us three, and this was literally humiliating. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I feel like I have the worst of luck for these things, and this happened over Christmas, so it wasn't that long ago. It was pretty recently. <laughs> this one is a fresh story. I honestly hope this is the last one I have of these because these just seem to come up somewhat often and I really really hate it. I have some here on my channel that if you guys want to see go check them out and you can struggle with me like when Fendi called me fat or all the multiple things that have happened to me at the Gucci store like getting kicked out and all these things. But yeah I will leave those links for you guys but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there and yeah let's get started. All right you guys so as I was telling Telling you this happened over Christmas and my in-laws were visiting so I'm from Venezuela my husband's from Venezuela everyone's from Venezuela so they came to visit us and we were really excited to have them over for the holidays it was honestly a really good time and this might be a little TMI but we weren't sure if they were gonna visit us again soon because of like visa issues and like passports and stuff like that but those are all fixed now and they will definitely be visiting again so we really wanted to make this trip extra special for them and honestly we go to Vegas all the time and we just thought this would make it really really special and we decided while we were going to be in Vegas that we we're going to do like some shows and stuff like that but on our final day of the trip we we're also going to do some shopping so we actually left that as like a surprise we're like okay we're not going to tell them what we're doing on our final day and on that day we're like okay so today we're going to do like some luxury shopping and then we're going to have like a really nice dinner and they were so excited because you guys I mean for people like us you know we come from like a country that's not I mean <laughs> it's honestly like it's apparently getting better but it used to be really really bad and I've done some videos where I tell you guys about my country and how bad things were when I left and I mean they still are bad like still every day you get like your electricity shut off every day get your water cut off so that's like our reality so for us like a little luxury shopping spree is like the best thing ever and Ordo's parents are definitely not used to that Ordo is my husband if you guys don't know that's what we call him and he doesn't get offended or anything like that so anyway yeah it was like a really Really nice special day for us so we went to the stores and it was really nice because it was like super empty and I don't know why I have like really bad luck at stores and this is a thing for me <laughs> I don't know I don't know what it is about me about the way I look I mean honestly I was looking at what I'm wearing right now and I was like well maybe they just think like I'm like a lady of the night you know <laughs> like I work with like sugar daddies and things like that but first of all I don't wear things like this when I go out I usually just wear like a black t-shirt second of all if I did have like sugar daddies they should just want to sell things to me <laughs> and third of all I was looking so cute that day like I'll post a picture of my outfit I thought my outfit was like super cute it was like classy I don't know and it doesn't matter what I wear honestly I feel like if I wear cute stuff they're usually not as rude but I tend to have experiences where they're just like randomly rude to me and like I was saying there's like more story times on this channel than I would like for there to be where I've had like really bad experiences I'm also realizing that a lot of them seem to be in Vegas so I don't know maybe there's something about Vegas <laughs> So we had decided that since it was around the holidays, even though we had already like gotten them presents, we were gonna get them like an extra present just to make it like super special, like a bougie present. And we got my mother-in-law like this really cute Louis Vuitton backpack and she loved it. It was so adorable. And we were gonna get my father-in-law a wallet, just like a nice wallet so he could be like all bougie with his wallet. I mean, it was just a gift and we wanted him to pick it out. So that day we were just like looking for a wallet. So first we went into YSL and it was honestly so, cute you guys they were like oh my gosh we never go into this kind of store like it's so fun so it was actually like a really fun experience because like we just wanted to like, go into like every store and just see and he was like taking like his cards and like putting them into the wallet I mean honestly he was doing the most to pick his wallet but whatever I mean just let the man do what he wants to do I mean he wanted his wallet and he just wanted it to be perfect it's like his first like really nice wallet and it was a gift so we were having fun so that was at YSL and they were very nice at YSL like I was really patient even though we took a really long time picking out this wallet and then he was like well I don't know about this one I want to look at other ones so we're like okay let's go to Louis Vuitton so at Louis Vuitton they had a little bit of a line and it was honestly a really small line it was like three people but for some reason it just wasn't moving at all so I decided I was gonna wait in line while Gordo and his parents just went into Dior I think while they looked at other stuff so we have been together this whole entire time and most of the time we're together like I'm usually never like 
like alone with my in-laws. I mean, they're great, but they're Gordo's parents, right? I mean, they're like my in-laws, you know, there's like that respect. So that's why what happened was like just extra like mortifying. So I went to the store, came back, the mall was empty, but still I was still waiting in line. I think I waited like 15 minutes and I didn't really move. So I was like, oh, why don't you guys wait here? And I'm just gonna go into Prada really fast because I wanted these Prada sunglasses, the ones that are really trendy that everyone has. And I was like, well, I was gonna get them online, but since I'm here, let me just try them on because they're sunglasses. And I just figured, well, let me just see if they look right on my face. I mean, I'm right here. I was literally standing right next to Prada. So Gorda's like, okay, I'll stand in line, but why don't they go with you so they can also go look at wallets at Prada, you know? So they're just not like standing here. I'm like, okay, you know, that's perfect. Just come along. We'll go to Prada. We'll look at wallets and I'll go look at my sunglasses. So this is where it starts. <laughs> So I go into Prada and the irony of this whole thing is that that day I was actually wearing a lot of Prada. I was wearing my little rhinestone Prada bag, which I love and I'm obsessed with. And I was also wearing like these little Prada like bobby pins. They're really cute, but I haven't really worn them again. I don't know, they're kind of hard for me to wear. Anyway, I go into Prada. The Prada store is pretty big. It's actually really, really big and it's completely empty. There's no one there. There's like three salespeople right when I walk in and one of them is like, oh my gosh, that bag was so hard to get. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know, but I got it. It. like I'm so happy and I'm showing this bag and they're just like well your party has to stick together I'm like oh, okay we're looking for a wallet and some sunglasses and they're like okay just go browse and I'm like all right so I go and I look at my sunglasses so I'm trying on the sunglasses but my mother-in-law <laughs> And my father-in-law, they want to go look at these wallets. And I'm just like, oh, okay, like I'm standing right here. The wallets are like right here, right? And the store is completely empty. So I'm just trying on the glasses. Like I'm trying to be quick because obviously I want to cater to them. I don't know if that's just like the Hispanic in me. I want to do what they want to do. I don't know. That's how I am. Honestly, I'm always like, I'll put myself last. So like people are happy. So I was just like, let me just try them on really, really fast. So I'm trying them on and there's this guy, like he's, I guess a sales associate, but he was there at the front when we walked in and I guess he was like the one that was assigned to us I don't know so he's just there like looking at me while I'm trying on the sunglasses but he's not really talking to me or anything he's just like looking so I was just like okay you know it's normal I was just like trying them on I didn't really have questions for him because I already knew like if I was gonna buy them I was gonna buy them but honestly I didn't love the way they looked on me so I was just kind of trying them on and then my mother <laughs> I mean, she just kind of like gravitates towards a bag, you know? I'm looking at the sunglasses and she just kind of like gravitates towards a bag to the side, but literally very close to me, right? And this was December 2021, so almost 2022, right? This wasn't like peak COVID. This was like, I think we still had masks inside, but not masks outside. So it wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know? It wasn't like, oh, you guys, like, it wasn't like that. It was pretty chill. Like people were pretty chill with everything, you know? And you guys know me, I took this whole pandemic really, really seriously. Like I didn't leave my house for like a full year because you know I live with grandma well grandma lives with me <laughs> I mean let's be honest I live with her this is her house pretty much but it was just like a little bit more relaxed and the store was again empty there was no one else there like no other people were shopping there so she just gravitates towards this bag and the guy tells me like your party needs to stick together and I'm like oh, okay so I tell her like oh we need to stick together just so you know like I wasn't like we need to stick together like telling her like hey I was just like oh like this guy like he says to stick together like you know just so you know like whatever <laughs> I just I told her but I wasn't like, you have to come to like where I'm standing because if not, like you're breaking product rules. Oh my God. Like, no, we were shopping. We were having a good time. You know, we were relaxed. So I was there by the sunglasses. So I told him like, oh, well, can you show them the wallets? Because they were like, they wanted to see these wallets. And you know, when your in-laws want something, they clearly want something. <laughs> and honestly, they weren't doing it to be rude or anything. They were just like, she's looking at sunglasses. We can look at wallets. It didn't, I don't think they really understood that they were like so strict about the, your party has to stick to together especially because again the store was like completely empty so he was like yeah I can show them the wallets but you have to stick together so I was like okay yeah no problem like I'll just leave my sunglasses here I was like I'm not gonna buy them honestly this guy's kind of being rude like if I buy them I'm gonna buy them online anyway so it doesn't matter so he walks off because my in-laws were already like by the wallets they completely ignore him and he walks off to meet them and I walk behind him just like a little bit behind because like so there was like a couple bags on the way to the wallets that kind of caught my eye so I was looking at the bags it kind of seems like a little bit dumb to me honestly because I was looking at these bags I'm like do you want to sell things or not because he was like you can't look at the bags you have to stick together but I was like I am not about to ruin the good time we're having we're having a really nice time like I'm enjoying family time yeah this is like Gordo's family when it's my family I'm like 
like I don't care like I'm a little bit more like whatever but when it's Gordo's family I really want to try like everything to be like really nice I mean for grandma as well but for the rest of my family like actually you know what never mind I try to make everything special for everyone so I don't know but for Gordo's family I try to make it extra special but anyway so we go see these wallets and my father-in-law so out of them too like out of my mother-in-law on my father-in-law he's a little bit more like the diva in the family you know I love him but he had already kind of picked up on like this guy was just giving us a hard time for no reason whatsoever because the store was empty like literally the other two sales associates were still at the front of the store because nobody else had walked in it's not like nothing had happened so he was kind of like eh, whatever like I don't know like I guess that one and honestly the Prada wallets were not that cute it's just like a black wallet with like the little Prada triangle so they were behind just like a glass thing and at this point we were like the three of us were there so this guy was happy because <laughs> we had stuck together <laughs> and they were like behind this glass thing and he was just kind of like oh whatever like you know like they're okay but I was like we're already here <laughs> why don't you look at them you know so I was the one speaking English I was kind of like doing the translating so I tell the guy I was like can we see this one you know like this wallet like the basic black wallet and he's like yeah sure but he doesn't move and I'm just like okay <laughs> like <laughs> do you, I mean do you just want us to look at it here like I was just kind of confused you know and then he just looks at me and he's like but don't you want to know the price first and I was like what? I mean, listen, if I would have felt like this guy was really concerned about my personal economy, if he would have been concerned about inflation, that would have been fine, you know? I feel like there's ways to say things, but he was just kind of like, you can't afford this. That's how it felt like he said it. And I was translating for my in-laws, but it's so funny because that they understood. And they were like, what? And it's so weird because I hadn't asked for the price of the sunglasses or of the bag. And honestly, it's not because I'm like, oh, like I don't need to know prices because that's not true. Like I always need to know prices. I actually check the prices before I go. Like I just browse the website. So I kind of have like an idea of how much things are. I just wanted to look at it. You know, it's just like, why can't I look at it? Even after I think it's too expensive, I should still be able to look at it. But at that moment, I just felt so uncomfortable. I was just like, my mother-in-law is right there. And you're like, oh, you can't afford this. It was just uncomfortable. I would have rather have that happen by myself just felt like humiliating like what's the need to say that to someone so I told him like oh okay sure like tell me the price and he said something I think it was like 500 700 I don't remember something along those lines I was like okay well can we look at it and then he was like oh okay like he waited to say the price then us be like okay like can we still look at it and then he showed it to us and I don't know honestly I've never had that happen to me before where you have to like first like approve <laughs> if you want to see something. I don't know. It was a very weird experience. And I think, honestly, if it would have just been that one thing, it wouldn't have been that weird. But it was just the fact that he kept like just being like, you can't do this. You can't do this. You can't look at this bag. You can't stand here. You can't do that other thing. And it made no sense whatsoever. I mean, we weren't being like disruptive. It was literally, literally my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. Like, I don't understand. But yeah, so we left. Obviously, we didn't buy anything. Honestly, I left feeling humiliated. I don't know. What would you have done? what would you have said I never know what to say to something like that because it just feels like it comes kind of out of nowhere after we ended up leaving the Prada store we went to the Louis Vuitton store because finally it was our turn and we actually had an amazing lady she was like lovely they also had the thing where you like had to stick together but it was so different I mean there was a moment where I went to the side because I had a phone call and I guess a security person told me like oh you have to go with your party but it was like it was in such a different way the store was actually busy I think it was the only store that was busy and and it was just like the whole, like everything was different. Like we told the lady that was helping us like, oh, we want to look at this. We want to look at this. And she was like very happy to help us with everything. And I told her about what had just happened to me at Prada because she was like, oh, I used to work at Prada. And I was like, well, I just had like a really bad experience at Prada. Cause I was like, maybe this is standard, you know, maybe this is normal. Like I do go into the store every once in a while, but I tend to shop online a lot more than I do in store. So maybe this is like a new thing where you're like, oh, like you need to know the prices for things before you like touch them and she was like mortified she was like I can't believe they said that to you like why would they say that to you and again you know it's not about being like oh my god well of course I have money because you know I don't and I'm not like that you know again I grew up with literally nothing so everything that I'm able to like afford for me or for my family I really appreciate and I, I know the value of the dollar but I just don't understand why the question especially in that situation like I don't know if he thought it was weird like I was like the leader you know because like I was the one talking and then it's like these older people 
who would be the ones who were paying or like why I was gonna pay. Like, I don't know if that was confusing because to me, that's pretty normal in my life. Like usually like I pay for my family and maybe in like the usual circumstances, like parents pay for their kids or something, but I don't really have that. So I don't know if it was something that put him off. Maybe he thought like, oh, there's like a daughter giving her parents a present. Maybe she doesn't have enough money. I don't know. Like I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I definitely felt really, really bad. I just wish if that would have happened, if it would have happened not in front of my in-laws. <laughs> it was just frustrating because, you know, when we started like working and when I started like doing the things that I do, you know, there was always a lot of doubt casted on like whether or not you could be successful doing like things online or like working with makeup or like beauty. And the fact that this guy was just kind of like, I feel like he just kind of brought me back to that time where it was like, oh, you'll never be successful. And you know, I've had that said to me to my face. So it's just like, ugh. I don't know, it made me feel really bad, but whatever. At least, thank God the lady at Louis Vuitton was really, really nice, because I feel like if we would have had another person that was super rude, it would have ruined my day. And also, thank God, I get along really well with my in-laws, and they were like, I can't believe it, you know, you look so cute. <laughs> they kept saying that, like, you look so cute, and you're wearing all Prada, like, why would they say that to you? So it was nice that they said that. Imagine if they would have been like, well, can you afford it, Mar? I don't know, clearly, even Prada thinks you can't afford anything. <laughs> But yeah, that's what happened. That is the story time, you guys. I hope this is the last one. I hope I have no more story times of being humiliated in store, of having like a really bad time with sales associates. I hope it doesn't happen to me again and not because I don't walk into another store, but just because like I have only wonderful experiences from here on out. But I don't know. I feel like there's something about my look. There's something about like something about me because this is not normal at this point. <laughs> but maybe it's just all the years of being broke. They just never wash off you. People could just smell it. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.